Relational summary, from wood to energy in a sustainable sawmill. The case takes place in Brazil, which is a very important country in the forest industry from plantation forest. More specifically, this takes place in the interior of the state of Sao Paulo, where there is a medium-sized sawmill owned by a family, and the name is Esquario Industria de Madeiras. The sawmill is surrounded by pine plantation forest, and it seems at first sight as a normal sawmill, but actually it's not. It has something that we will discuss later on in this uh, summary. But first, what is a sawmill actually uh, produce? Sawmills normally produce some timber, dry some timber that is uh, raw material for the furniture industry, but then also sawmills produce waste by products and the form of bark, chips, and shavings that can be produced for, uh, the, then can be the raw material for electricity. So, how electricity is generated from a sawmill's uh, wood waste? For this, I introduce my friend Kenny Rogers. He speaks better English than me, so he will make his presentation. Heat water until it produces steam, which powers a turbine and generates electricity. That steam turns propeller-like blades around a rotor inside the turbine. This turning rotor connects to a main shaft, which spins magnets with a coil inside a generator. It's the generator inside a turbine that converts mechanical energy into electric energy and creates electricity. Steam is an efficient method of producing electricity because the water can be recycled and reused as it changes back and forth between liquid and gaseous states. Thank you, Kenny. That was very well said and explained. See you this weekend in your ranch in Texas. So here we have a Brazilian family-owned middle-sized sawmill producing some timber uh, for furniture and windows component production. Also, as the picture shows, they get a large quantity of bark, sawdust, and chips that are being used to produce their own electricity to be able to run their wholesome meals. Here you see a couple pictures of the energy plant with their turbines and motors. So, now the question is what the sawmill gains are produced by making its own energy especially thinking from the triple bottom line perspective. As we know, the economic, social, and environmental factors are critical and in the same consideration in towards achieving sustainability. In terms of the economic factor, uh, the sawmill has achieved cheaper energy. It, therefore, they have improved their profit and they get steady, constant reliable electricity supply, which um, the, was not the case when they used to get uh, electricity from the Brazilian grid, since electricity was so unstable that they were not able to install or a new machine or to do a sawmill expansion. In terms of the environmental factor, uh, they achieve electricity from wood waste. Uh, now they are called byproducts for uh, the feedstock of their electricity. Produced at site, no energy and electricity wasted at the utility production site at the transmission and distribution where twice as much of the electricity consumed in an industry is energy lost of, on those uh, stages. Third, the social factor uh, due to this uh, possibility of installing the sawmill and their factory by installing new machine, more job creation in that specific region of Brazil, and therefore uh, community improvement. Being able to span the sawmill needs more workers and is able to provide more jobs in communities in that area. Also, there is a numerous indirect job creation uh, due to the sawmill increase. To finalize the relational summary, a few words on the future or possible future for the sawmill industry. This industry is very large, very important, and it has a real possibility to produce a positive impact on the environment by producing their own energy, their own electricity. 
they have the waste in the form of bark, chips and sawdust and this can be used as a feedstock for electricity production, self-consumption and avoid the incredible amount of energy being wasted in the generation, transmission and distribution in, in basically in the grid. Therefore, can be done and hopefully we will see more cases like the Brazilian sawmill in other countries, in other parts of the world, since this is something that can be done. Thank you. And here it is uh, Kenny Rogers uh, Ranch in Tennessee.